Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, the campaign webinar go to meeting uh, series. Uh, and thanks for uh, making time today. Uh, today we're going to talk about hospitality and specifically uh, we have uh, the unique honor of uh, having Jose Barrios uh, being our guest today to describe a real world implementation of CM Pilot at uh, his hotel in Mexico. Uh, Jose, thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate uh, you taking the time to present uh, your experiences here and uh, also encourage you to talk a little bit about uh, beautiful Baja California as well. Uh, we, and uh, with that, we'll get started. My name is uh, Chetan Hibale. I'm the Senior Director of Product Management for Cambium's uh, Wi-Fi product line. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about Wi-Fi specifically in the context of hospitality. Uh, what, what, before we get started talking about the product itself, uh, one of the key things is that in the last couple of years, uh, as there's really no need to reiterate the point, but it's been pretty much everybody's experience that Wi-Fi is the number one sought after hotel amenity. And the hotel ratings and rankings can uh, go up or down uh, depending on the level of the Wi-Fi service at the hotel. And in the last couple of years, we've been seeing tremendous interest in hotels wiring their guests up for internet connectivity and specifically for great Wi-Fi. Uh, one of the interesting things is that this trend, when we say ho hospitality, isn't really limited to traditional hotels. It's uh, gone to campgrounds. It's gone pretty much to any destination that is touristy in nature. And as uh, this recent Hyatt survey here shows, uh, free Wi-Fi has often uh, beaten a comfy bed uh, in many traveler surveys and ratings. So if there's uh, any doubt as to the importance of Wi-Fi in hotel, I think this uh, Hyatt survey should uh, lay that to rest. Uh, before we get started, uh, just uh, stepping back, uh, Cambium Networks has what we call the wireless fabric. We call that as connecting people from two meters to 245 kilometers. The, if you think of the how people get connected from the client device to the internet. You've got the long distance PTP networks. Uh, that's where the reference to the 245 kilometers comes uh, from one of our tests that we did in Colorado, uh, connecting two point to point links over 245 kilometers and sending high definition audio and video. And then from point to point, we've got uh, last mile access with EPMP. And then we are able to connect homes, public hotspots, enterprises, and with recently with industrial uh, internet of things as well. On, in this webinar, we're really going to focus on Cambium's Wi-Fi CN pilot product line managed by CN Maestro and connecting the enterprises. So that's the hospitality segment. Just two weeks back, we announced Cambium CN pilot 2.0. Uh, CN Pilot 1.0 was our initial launch of products with affordable 802.11 AC V1 products with easy, free, secure, and scalable cloud. With CN Pilot 2.0, we've uh, continued that disruptive price performance equation by introducing 802.11 AC V2 products and then managing that with enrichments on the controller side uh, in terms of uh, controller features. And specifically on the controller side, we're introducing managed service provider-friendly features as well. And this is uh, really significant for hospitality deployment because as you can see in hospitality, uh, very often system integrators and wars uh, come in and manage hospitality deployments for third parties. So uh, very, recent, very soon we're gonna launch managed services features for hospitality as well. This was the CN Pilot portfolio uh, prior to two weeks with our E400 indoors, our E500 outdoors, EPMP 1000 hotspot, our entry level single band outdoor product, and two Wi Fi routers that are shown in black on the home and small business side. With CN Pilot 2.0, we introduced a number of new products, the, specifically the E410 and the E600, which are indoor 802.11 AC Wave 2 products. Uh, the E410 is a two by two product, and the E600 is, is a four by four product. So that's four, four transmit streams and four receive streams. Along with that, we're going to introduce the E512S, which is a 30 degree 11 AC Wave 2 product. 
And we're also going to introduce a 501S, which is uh, shipping uh, very shortly next week. This is the 90 degree to 120 degree integrated sector outdoor product. All of these products are extremely uh, useful for uh, deployments in hospitality sector. On the CN Pilot 2 Auto controller side, we're continuing enhancements on CN Maestro with uh, rich APIs. So our API suite is right now in beta. We're also introducing a feature called Autopilot, which allows you to take a controller, uh, to take an access point and turn that into a controller. And we're following that up with reports and managed service provider tools. So Cambium as a whole is now able to connect, uh, give you various options for connecting indoor hospitality deployments. So with our very low access point uh, price points, uh, along with very high feature set, we're now able to connect the rooms, corridors, swimming pool areas, outdoor areas. With our point-to-point -point link, we're able to connect uh, buildings within the hospitality campus. And we're able to do this to serve uh, video, su video surveillance traffic, client user traffic, and commercial point of sale traffic as well with our secure Wi-Fi products. So our unique differentiation really comes along three segments. One is our ability to continue to simplify CN pilot uh, <clears throat> deployment and operations with features like easy touch and easy detect. Uh, these are troubleshooting features and zero touch deployment features that make it very easy to deploy uh, CN pilot Wi-Fi products. Along with that, we've continued enhancements in terms of the overall solution and architecture with a very flexible architecture where you can manage the products from the cloud, you can manage them from a local NOx server, which is a free software that you can download from our site, or you can take an access point and turn that into a controller. And with all of, we do all of these things with an eye on affordability without sacrificing quality. And that's our price for performance uh, tradition that we've been maintaining since the launch of these products. So we call this our FAA cornerstone of differentiation. In, in, uh, in terms of our adaptive architecture, uh, you can now take CN Pilot APs where, where it's very convenient and easy for you to connect to the cloud. You're pretty much off and going because those APs by default will connect to the cloud. Or if you still prefer a traditional controller deployment for any, any reason, you can, you can uh, take a controller and connect that with a local tunnel. And uh, now we are able to, you're now able to take that uh, thing and tunnel the traffic from the access points to the controller. So that would be a layer two over GRE or a layer two, T, uh, layer two L2TP uh, tunnel from the access point to the controller. Very shortly uh, in the month of June, we're gonna introduce a third option and that is autopilot. With autopilot, we're able to take any CN pilot enterprise access point and convert that into a controller. Uh, there are no license fees. There are no special requirements for any particular SKU to be used as autopilot. So you can take the E400, the E500, the E410, or the upcoming E600, or the E502S, or the E501S, and convert them into a autopilot controller. So we give you three completely flexible ways in which you are able to wire the network. And the advantage of doing this is that it allows us you to scale the CN pilot architecture as the business scales. So for example, if you're starting small uh, and you don't want to connect to the cloud or download software onto a server, you can turn the, turn the AP into an access point. As you scale up, uh, you can, uh, you, depending on your geography, depending on your constraints or your goals, you can choose between putting CN Maestro on the controller and tunneling this uh, traffic over to the controller, or you can put CN Maestro in the cloud. Now, one of the things with the controller is you can not only tunnel CN Maestro to our own uh, traffic to our own controller, but you can take the traffic and tunnel to any third party controller or a gateway that supports L2 over GRE. For example, a MicroTik gateway can be used here to take traffic and tunnel it. And then behind the gateway, you can put your uh, uh, any kind of uh, DPI, uh, deep packet inspection kind of capabilities behind that gateway. 
So the next couple of slides, uh, I want to just give you a quick tour of some of the various features we've introduced specifically in the last four to five months. But before we do that, let's take a quick uh, pause here and see if we have any questions. Okay, uh, it appears we don't have any questions. So any moment, uh, if you feel like you have any question, uh, please type your questions on the portal. We'll pause along the way and uh, see if there are any questions and answer them as many as we can. So with CN Maestro, uh, sometime in middle of 2016, we introduced uh, free hospitality features with our captive portal and guest access. You can uh, very quickly design a splash page or, or a welcome page, uh, customize the logo, change the background, change the text design, and you're off and running. All of these things come with uh, at least four built-in templates for hospitality, for uh, transportation hubs, and for any general welcome splash page. Uh, so those templates help you to get started very easily, but you can always supply your own uh, photograph, your own template, and change change that as well. And, and with these uh, free splash page hosting, uh, there are no fees. It's available as a standard feature on CN Maestro. The other thing you can do is you can do time and data control over sessions. Uh, we're now, we originally had session and rate limit, uh, in the last two months, we introduced quota limit, so you can control session, rate, and quota. And along with that, we also introduced social login as well. With social login, you can allow your guests to log in with their Facebook or Google accounts, and whatever data they've made public on their Facebook or Google accounts, uh, that can be uh, harvested by you to get in terms of demographic information. For example, if you wanted to know the age group of the people who are uh, logging into your network, or if you wanted to know uh, whatever data, which is often very helpful, uh, for example, uh, not, not just age, but certain interests in music and other tastes, which help you customize your offering to your customers, uh, can all be harvested from the Facebook or Google uh, profiles. So we make those available to you as a downloadable report that you can then take and analyze for further data analysis. In addition to that, we also offer uh, vouchers for guest access, uh, easy to print vouchers that can be customized and distributed, either as PDF or as a CSV. And then in the next uh, eight months, we're planning a voucher application along with certain apps on the phones that you can customize with CN Pilot products. With standalone AP Captive Portal, uh, we, this gives you yet another ability so all of the abilities previously shown are through the controller. That is what we recommend for scalable deployments. But if you started small and you wanted to do standalone AP deployments, put your own management system, or you, you may already have a management system, and you want to slot in the CN pilot access points, uh, the AP still give you some basic capabilities for built-in captive portal as well. And one of the key things to remember with CN Pilot access points is that the, we've designed these access points to be as robust as they can. For example, features like roaming will work without a controller. We support up to 1,000 clients uh, that can roam without the need for a controller-assisted roaming. In addition to that, uh, we've also introduced over-the-air hotspot 2.0. Now, this is a feature that's typically so far been seen in high-end hospitality deployments, but is uh, expected to gain popularity through the rest of this year and especially into next year. Now, one of the studies from uh, the U.S. Uh, hospitality industry shows that as of 2014, uh, there were international travelers spent an estimated $220 billion on the U.S. hospitality industry. And that was 20% of all lodging sales. So especially as visitors roam, uh, one of the biggest problems with Wi-Fi has been connecting to other Wi-Fi networks. And with Hotspot 2.0, the connection on Wi-Fi networks has been designed to be made as easy as connecting on cellular roaming. So with, uh, with, with Hotspot 2.0 enabled phones, and, and these days uh, most of the new smartphones come with Hotspot 2.0 support, uh, such as the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone, uh, it now becomes easier for international travelers to join Hotspot 2.0 networks. 
So with, with an eye on that growing trend, uh, we're supporting Hotspot 2.0, which originally was designed for cellular networks, but is now gaining popularity in the hospitality industry as well. So this uh, this kind of tells you the, where we're going. Uh, we're, we're looking at the trends that are going on in the industry and making sure that hospitality isn't left behind. Now, one of the other things uh, that many of our uh, people, uh, many of our prospective customers and our current customers have asked for is the ability to monetize Wi-Fi. So with that, we released two new features. One is SMS authentication, and another one is uh, ability to collect payments through PayPal. With SMS authentication, uh, this is the screenshot on the right, you can see that we support uh, providers like Twilio, uh, you, or if you're in a country where Twilio is not supported, for example, in India, we support uh, uh, Gupship. And then every quarter, we plan to add a new provider. So if you have a provider that you'd like to, us to support in terms of SMS, uh, please let us know on the forum. Other community, community members often vote on the popularity of these re feature requests. And we will take in those feature requests and use that to, uh, de to determine which features to support. One of the benefits of SMS authentication uh, is that very often country regulations, especially outside the United States, require the user to be authenticated by SMS. So with this, you're able to take CN pilot deployments and authenticate users through SMS. We're also, we're also supporting PayPal uh, Gateway, uh, so that allows you to take credit cards in and support access through for credit cards. Now, you'll also notice here uh, that we have an option for free and paid vouchers. So with CN Pilot, you can take, you can select the free option and enable free service, for example, for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we'll prompt the user to switch to the paid option. And then you're able to collect payments uh, from the screen right away. Now for either of these features, we don't charge any special license fees, but service providers like Twilio may, may charge for uh, providing SMS access. Moving on. So one of the key things to remember is that even as we support native hospitality features on CN Pilot, we recognize that there are specialized backend providers, for example, like iPaaS or cloud for v or Purple. So we're, we continue to work with third party specialized backend providers to support a lot of the backend deployments. And uh, very shortly, we'll host a web page uh, on our Cambium Networks CN Pilot product page that list all of the third party providers that we support. So if you do have a third party support uh, provider that you'd like to see supported, uh, please let us know. In most cases, the support is fairly straightforward if they use radius based authentication or radius based communication. With so if you look at all of these features, such as Autopilot here, and that is a screenshot from Autopilot without its license fees, uh, in terms of what we're doing, we're really protecting your investment. We're allowing you to pick up different options depending on your scale and need, and then able to migrate from one type of network to another type of network as the sophistication and scale of your network grows. Now, one last slide before we move into some real world examples. Uh, for hospitality, one of the key things is if you're a system integrator or a WAR uh, listening on this webinar, we offer a number of uh, benefits. If you're a registered Cambium partner, uh, we, we, the registration benefits enhance and get increased as you go from authorized to gold to platinum levels. We also offer deal registration, which allows you to protect your deals, uh, gives you specialized discounts. And we set aside marketing co-op dollars to help you market your product. So, all of these things combined with the product, uh, combined with benefits to integrators, uh, a very rich support offering from Cambium, including 24 by 7 support, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 support, as well as forum support, I have started to see uh, the payoffs in terms of our deployment around the world. Uh, here is a deployment from Heritage Hotels in Kenya. Uh, this is a resort at the edge of the jungle uh, with very uh, poor backbone connectivity. So this was a, a, an example where we brought in PTP 650 uh, for the long mile access, EPMP to bring in the connectivity to these various buildings that you see in the resort, and then CN Pilot 
access points inside the resort. So in this particular resort, we've got 147 access points uh, covering the resort uh, with EPMP 1000 uh, bringing the backhaul to each of these buildings. And all of the, both the EPMP and the CN pilot are managed from CN Maestro. Our second example is from Bali, Indonesia. Uh, this is a Holiday Inn Resort. This one comes with uh, support for CN Pilot indoor access points. Over 100 indoor access points were deployed here, along with CN Pilot E500 for outdoor deployment. And one of the interesting things is, is very often in many of these access points, we saw over 100 subscribers attached per AP. So this kind of uh, gives us confidence that these deployments can scale, they can handle capacity, and uh, we've got uh, separate SSIDs for guest access and hotel operations so, so that you can keep the traffic separate and secure. Now, in terms of our ability to handle cr uh, high capacity, uh, one of the other things that we support are uh, we've been doing a lot of events, like, the, like recently we did a TEDx conference in Croatia. Uh, in Croatia, we also did an InfoGamer event where a number of people come in and compete on games. Uh, this particular event had over 70,000 visitors over seven days. We wired up the convention center, both the indoor and outdoor areas. And one of the key to success here was the ability to do a lot of simultaneous user connectivity with very low latency. And so this is a, a very interesting proof point for hospitality because our APs are able to handle high density applications. For example, uh, many, in many hotels, you've got convention centers, and uh, this gives you the, the ease of uh, access combined with ability to handle high capacity events. Uh, our last example before we switch to Jose comes from uh, what I call the hospitality in the hills. This is our E500 uh, right there serving the base camp in Mount Everest. Uh, this is a testament to ruggedness and our ability of Cambium to handle without flaw uh, applications in very tough terrain. In this particular case, the service provider is providing 100 to 200 megabits to remote communities as well as to the climbers who are up there on Everest. And, and just for uh, reference, uh, this is a deployment that's happening at over 18,000 feet. Uh, that's almost half uh, halfway up to where uh, a lot of the international flights fly at more than 30,000 feet. We're connecting, we're expected to connect more than 16,000 climbers, uh, not just in this particular area, but also in other remote areas where a lot of uh, climbers from around the world come to climb the peaks in the Himalayas. And in addition to that, the service provider is providing hotspot service to more than 40 villages. And this is a, an example of Cambium being able to uniquely do this because we're able to bring Wi-Fi access, the backhaul required for Wi-Fi access, and then tie both of them together with a, a common management feature. So in this case, uh, we're expected to handle over 34,000 locals and over 40,000 tourists, along with uh, utilization of the guest access features that we just talked about. So we'll have more details on this and a case study on this is coming up on our on our case studies portal. So please uh, go over to Cambium's uh, webpage resources and uh, look for, the, for this uh, case study on our portal. Our, uh, one of our recent deployments, more closer to home here in the US, has been Hotel Aquario. And uh, one of the things that I've always been told is uh, that this is a, uh, Baja California is one of the un most unique places in the world uh, where uh, blue whales, where these whales come to um, co congregate at least three times a year. And Jose has uh, taken our APs here and connected them in uh, the hotel deployment. And so rather than me go through this, uh, since we have a first person presence here, I'd like to now uh, hand off to Jose to go ahead and describe the deployment, uh, describe the need that he's, he's been seeing and, uh, and help us understand his deployment. Jose, uh, with that said, I'd like to invite you to uh, come on our webinar and uh, give us a little bit of a brief on uh, your experience and, and the challenge that you solved with CN Pilot. Good morning, Chitan. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I appreciate Cambio being a really great partner with us. Um, and I will welcome to my experience. So to start off, 
Um, just talking about the nature of our deployments uh, and where where starting point was on Wi-Fi. So our hotel is located in Baja, California, Mexico. Uh, as you said before, it's one of the premier places to see whale watching, uh, off-road racing, and among another um, uh, pretty much outdoor experiences. With that said, uh, Baja uh -huh. is a place where you have a lot of international tourists because of that reason. So we noticed that more and more we have uh, customers from all over the world, um, Asia, Europe, uh, the U.S., Canada, uh, going down there, and their need was they wanted their applications, uh, voice over IP, social media, uh, a, a lot of business customers as well, they wanted the VPN applications. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't deliver at that fast pace they wanted it. So over the years, we noticed, uh, and when you started talking about hospitality, that people nowadays would really like to have better Wi-Fi than complimentary breakfast, and that is so true in any case. Um, we noted that a couple years back, about four years back, uh, Wi-Fi had become the amenity number one for the hotel. Um, so with that said, we started looking for vendors that could um, deliver the coverage we wanted um, in a reasonable price, of course. So the first thing we started looking was, how can we deploy better Wi-Fi? And with our existing CAT5 cabling through the hotel, um, it is limited. Now, something to know about the hotel Aquarius is that we're built in solid concrete and still rebar. So it's a little different than drywall and cheat rock. Um, signal is really hard to penetrate in a lot of rooms. So that was one of the first challenges to overcome. Now, when we started looking at, um, at Cambium, we looked at the CM Pilot and CM Maestro because of their online application. Um, we tried multiple vendors, and one thing we noticed is everyone needed to be hosted on premise. And we had some experiences that were not as good because you had to reboot the server or something happened and the Wi Fi went down. And on top of that, every Typically, every on-premise deployment requires multiple licenses. If you want, if you want to have a license for um, X amount of APs, if you go over 10 or 20, there's a license. If you want to have the captive portal, it's another license. So we didn't really like that feature, uh, that option for a lot of vendors. So before we uh, deployed the CMP Pilot 400, the indoor access point, our coverage was pretty spotty. We only had coverage uh, from the AP, AP close to around, I want to say, uh, 20, 30 feet across uh, on the hallway. So really could only cover about four to three rooms per access point before we switched to our camping products. Um, after we switched to our camping products, we noticed the coverage improved immensely. Um, and just by replacing the access point in the same location of other vendors. Uh, we noticed that when we went to our site survey, we literally went um, higher up on RSSI and everything was running smoothly. One thing that we really liked is that uh, we didn't have to be on premise to configure them uh, with the onboarding process. So me being the owner of the hotel, I travel a lot, I go back and forward, so um, I could log into the web portal and look at the access point that we're running, uh, look who, who was on the network, and how we deploy this, which is literally plug and play at that point. Could okay. Uh, yes. What, one question for you. Um, yes. how do you. How do you ensure, what's your deployment plan in terms of coverage for the rooms? Uh, do you put these access points in the rooms, or do you put them in the corridors and try to cover multiple rooms? Uh, and, so and if I'm... Gonna, Yes, right. And if you could also speak to the nature of the construction as well. Um, thanks. Yes. yes. Uh, so right now we have uh, the hallway access deployment, uh, but we're going to be, after our site server, we're going to be doing um, inside the actual room, the access points. And the reason why is because, as said before, uh, the hotel is constructed of concrete and still rebar. So it's really hard to penetrate the Wi-Fi signal anywhere in the hotel. So on the hallway, you can get really good coverage. However, um, 
we noticed that to get the 100% enterprise Wi-Fi that people are expecting uh, when you come to an international resort, you have to put the actual access point in the room. And when we did the site survey, we uh, noticed that it has to be uh, in our deployment because of full of concrete and steel, it has to be one AP per two rooms. Um, so our deployment moving forward is we're actually putting the access points inside the room uh, to check between two rooms in the hotel. And the access point is great. I mean, the form factor is small and the customers don't even really, you know, they, they see the square uh, little block, but they don't they don't see it as something really outstanding on the room. Okay. And uh, and so, Jose, if, uh, yeah. Yeah, if people wanted to get more information, uh, where, how, how could they reach you? Um, what's the best uh, way to get the, get them in touch with you? They, they, they can listen directly to, to our hotel website or to our fan page or just send an email directly. Um, we can send them out uh, after the webinar is done, a quick note. So if you guys want to know more about the deployment in our hotel, you can take me any time, either by email or by our direct uh, website. Perfect. And 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 for anyone else uh, whom you know, if you are unable to reach uh, Jose and still need a reference, uh, you may contact Cambium at Cambium Sales on our webpage, and we'll be happy to put you in touch with uh, Jose. Yes. So uh, and you've got a video YouTube as well, uh, correct? Yes, uh, so I did a, a testimonial video of how we deployed it. And um, I really do uh, want to thank you to Cambium because every step of the way they helped us and a lot of features that are built into the system, uh, I mentioned them every in the process of the video. Perfect. So so uh, we'll, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll send a mail out to all of these attendees uh, with a link to your YouTube video and uh, with some information on how to reach you so, with, so that they can, uh, you know, if they had any questions, they can reach you. And uh, I also encourage uh, other participants on this webinar to, to come online and help us and give us uh, your experience, and we'd be happy to feature you on our webinars as well. So, Jose, uh, any final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts for me is just, uh, Overall, CN Maestro has been a really good product for us. Uh, the online platform and the support we have from you guys has been amazing. Um, just setting up our web portal with us and uh, holding our hand to that has been great. I, I cannot think any better words for that. Perfect, and thank you for that uh, testimonial. I will pass it on to the team. And for everybody else, uh, we encourage you to share your experience with us. Uh, you can send that to us uh, directly or you could uh, post your experiences on the forum, and we'd be very happy to hear from you as well. Uh, please do reach out to us as you try CN Pilot product, and we look forward to hearing you on our next webinar. So th thank you, everyone, and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you on our next CN Pilot webinar series. And thanks, Jose, as well. You're welcome.